Okay, so at this point, I feel pretty ready to start painting. Uh, probably should have found the colors underneath uh, as well, but I bet that those are gonna be very similar. Yeah, so there's still a lot of glare happening up in here, which is why my hair looks a lot darker, but it's actually a really good match. So just trust me on that. Um, okay, so starting to paint the eye. Now my eyebrow is thicker than this one. Uh, drawing error. And I think I'm going to be able to bring up some from the bottom. And hopefully as I figure out where this eye is going, um, I won't have to adjust the top too much, but it might be that I do adjust the top. So we'll see. Now that eyebrow color, I think it's going to be somewhere in here. I'm not sure though. Might be too dark. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, so now my eyebrow is a little bit wet, which is good. And now I'm going to work out of that eyebrow because working out of the darks is a really good thing to do. Working out of those darks, just like I had planned. Now we could try to go one step up here. And work into that eyebrow. I don't want to make the eyebrow thicker. So I'm really quickly jumping lighter. Oops. Really quickly jumping lighter, but laying in those colors still the same. All right, so I'm starting to go in here. I think I need to change brushes because this one's got too dark and it's starting to contaminate up here. All right, I'm looking at this shape. It doesn't go for too long. And then it starts to get lighter to the left. And bluer. So you'll notice like with the eye, you're gonna use smaller brushes because it's a small area. Oops. Well, I went too light right here. So it's really jumping out. So I'm gonna go back and fix that. I'm just tapping in a little bit of darker color, tapping in a little bit of darker color around the eyebrow, getting right in. Okay, so I think it's definitely time to put in that light, I mean, that red um, outline to the uh, lid. So I want a nice, good brush for that, something that I can put it in kind of with one stroke and feel good about it. All right, a nice tiny brush. This is like a size one. And I think I'm going to try and go for like this color. Wish I had mixed more paint. I'm trying to cover the brush so that the brush hairs stick together, make a nice thin line. And now I'm looking at just putting in a little test. What do I think about that? I think it's actually going to be okay. It's just not looking merged yet, but I'll have to merge it later. I'm going to take this color. Very carefully put it in and see if it goes anywhere else. I think it's going to go down here, over here. Okay. Now I'm going to merge out of that into the existing area. And this is where it gets a little tricky because a lizard is like crazy 
contaminant, like it'll just take over your painting. So I'm not gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna put that aside and I'm gonna pick a different brush. Hopefully I have a good one. This one is another size one. And I'm looking at those colors next to it. And I'm like, okay, well, I was up in here. So maybe if I took some of that, maybe some of that and some of this, and then just lightened it a little bit. Painted around the edge, it will merge. And it did, that was pretty good. Now I have my red brush again, so I can go back with my red. If I lost the shape or if it's not dark enough. And put it back. I'm also looking at distances, right? So I'm trying to draw this eye. And I think that this actually needs to go a little higher, this red, because I kind of, I also need to bring that eyebrow down. So it's a lot of drawing that you guys are doing. You don't want to lose your shapes. I wish this was a filbert. It's not, it's a bright, it's kind of making a sharp edge, which kind of things. All right, now, so from here, I'd like to continue with what's touching that. What's touching that is the rest of the eyelid. So I'm gonna take the brush that I used kind of up here. See if um, this color can merge anywhere else. Gonna put it down a little dark. I know that I'm gonna lighten it, but I know that at the edge it can't be light. So I'm putting that down first. Now I'm gonna paint into it in kind of this the center to get it to kind of turn a little bit better. So I think that's gonna be more like this value. Yeah. So I'm not going up to the edge. I'm leaving that color. I'm not going down to the edge either. I'm trying to find the right shape. Sorry, you can't see the palette, but I think it's better to be closer so you can see the brush strokes. All right, so it's still, you know, it's still pretty stripey, which is fine. And I'm just gonna keep working now into this. Slow, nice and slow. I still have my red brush, so I'm gonna pull out that red brush. The red gets darker over there. Okay, now I'm going to also, let's see, continue. I'm going to put in some of the white of the eye. Oh, it looks very blue. Now I'm not painting up all the way to the edge yet because that's going to be a different color. It's going to be darker. And I'm not painting over there yet because that turns pink. I'm going to take that pink color. Okay. Then I'm going to take a darker color at the top here a darker version of gray. Not too blue. So that looks kind of dark and stripy at this moment, but it's going to work. I'm 
Okay, it's time to put in that iris and pupil. So let's get a new brush. Get that in there, get that in there, get that in there, get something below, and then assess the hole. All right, so I know that I mixed an eye color. I put that in. Oops. And I'm going to do the pupil in, in uh, black. Right in the center. A little up. Okay, now I want to assess the shapes and the edges. So I think that um, the edge of this needs to be softer. So I'm taking my gray brush and I'm going over the edge. This is what I mean by softening. So it's not uh, so, so, so sharp. And then maybe some of that color that's on my brush could be used in other areas too. It takes time. You're not automatically going to have a beautiful eye. Okay, now let's go back with, let's get, um, it looks like she's looked, well, it looks like this eye might need to move over a little bit. I'm going to take a dark color. Try and move that iris over. Now the edge of the iris is dark. So not the blurred edge. Oops. But right before it gets to the white, it gets dark. And it also is darker on the bottom, around the side, and on the top. All right, so now I need a new brush to soften. Soften this edge again. I'm just going to tap. There's a lot of paint up here. Tapping usually does the trick. All right, so now let's keep working with everything else that's happening because it still looks a little weird. It looks a little big. It looks a little not right. So let's keep um, working out from here and here and surround this and see where we get. Um, okay, so let's see, where was I up here? I think this brush might have been over, yeah. Yeah, this brush will work. Okay, so get lighter. I'm looking at the pink. That's up in there. The pink that's over here. Okay. How the lid cuts into that iris a little more. And how dark it is over here. It's very dark. Let's continue this line down very thinly. Maybe a little lighter than that. Okay, kind of set this stage, set the drawing. Over here. Add a little bit more. Okay, 
No, it's kind of it with the red. Getting lighter. Now up in here, I didn't merge out of that yet, so I should probably do that. Take that color, then take a darker color, paint into it a little bit, take the eyebrow color, paint into that a little bit. Kind of tapping the edge a little bit, merge those two colors. And now let's go lighter. I think a lot of you guys, um, you jump really light, whereas I hold off because I know that the light can't go all the way to the edge because this is a form. It's, it's tilting in and around and merging. So I hold off. A little bit. And then I work my way lighter. So that's, that's how you make it like, not hard on yourself. Because it's really hard to, if you paint white or light all the way up to the eyebrow, you get a lot of paint up there and then it becomes really hard to fix. Okay, so now I'm getting, you know, a decent amount of information up here so that I can just kind of tweak and juggle now uh, to make all the shapes kind of work and settle into each other. So I'm noticing that this is, iris is coming up too high, the lid got too narrow and it needs to drop down. So I'm going to take this brush, kind of pull down using the paint that's up here. Try and get that shape. Or maybe this color would work for over here a little bit. Try to pull out that light that's in the center. So I wonder if you guys are painting, when you're painting, make sure you're going as slow as I'm going because it's really worth it. Then time to put your highlights in the right spot. If they're not, fix them. So. Okay, now we need darkness to come down. And um, I think I can go a little bit darker in that red as well. So good thing I saved that red brush. I added in a little bit of ivory black and cadmium red because I needed to go darker without being too purple. And that works. Anyway, once you get this, I would surround the eye even more and then continue to 
either grab a new brush and tweak, you know, like some shapes. Like, so for example, let me grab a new brush here. Like what's happening in here, I could smooth this out a little bit just by using the paint that's up here. Or, um, you know, soften an edge by tapping. So we're not drowning in paint. And if you get, you know, something that looks like a, a first layer, something that's not perfect, but um, will suffice, then we could always paint it again, because really that's what these guys did. They didn't go in and paint a perfect eye, you know? But what I want you guys to think about as you're painting the eye, if that's what you're gonna do today, is look at the eyelid and how it's not the same width all the way across, how in some areas there's going to be a point of change. So it's not just a, a perfect arch. There's going to be points where it's highest. And in, you know, in this case, the highest point is right here above the highlight. Um, and it's going to you know, have certain angles. So you want to make sure you're stepping back and taking a look. Also, looking at the fact that the white of the eye has a little bit of a cast shadow on it which is why it's darker right underneath the lid a little bit than it is in the rest of the eye. It shouldn't be obvious. Right now, mine's too obvious. Um, so you want to be just kind of looking at all that and then thinking about the form. So if it doesn't look like it's turning enough, then either your darks are not dark enough or your lights are not light enough. A lot of times, that's the answer. Pretty much it's probably that your, your darks are not dark enough though. So underneath here, I really want to surround it because I feel like it's just not, and it's still looking very stark, but so I want to get in this color. It's kind of light there in the upper lid. And Across here. Should be more pink there though. Um, but pretty quickly, let's see. I need a, like this splotch on mine looks very um, high chroma, light high chroma orange. Um, so I'm gonna mix that real quick. Let's see.
There's also a lot of light that comes kind of down. Like that. All right, now let's get in some of the pocket underneath the eye. And that is very similar to kind of the neutrals. Not too dark. that I was mixing up in here, I think, very similar. That looks too gray, it needs to be more purple. So let's go to that purple mixture. Mm, more pink. Yeah. Kind of a tiny brush for such a big area, but now I want to look at like the dimension. So it's dark and a little bit lighter, then a little bit lighter, um, and it gets kind of dark again. So let's lay down something for maybe this side. Yeah, I'm not sure about this color. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere still. So let me switch brushes. Let me work out of the, get some more of that red. Oh man, that was my red brush. Kind of made it a non-red brush. Wait, so I'm not stepping back enough. So I gotta make sure that like, I'm, I'm getting perspective here because if we're too close, we're not going to get the shapes right. So let's see, let's step back. Yeah, so I'm going to work in that area. Let's bring some of this dark over. Really slim down this uh, color in here. That white of the eye that's just peeking through. And then, and I think I made my eye too wide. Oh, totally, totally, totally. So this has to drop down sooner. So let's go to my medium color here, medium value, kind of pinkish. Now, what's not helping is that I don't have it dark enough over here um, to really look like it's the other side of the eye. There we go, that's helpful. So the eye is a ball. I think I need to now reinstate that dark red that was in there. It needs to be high chroma enough, so I'm actually going to add a little bit of cadmium red. Okay, so I'm wondering about what's happening up in here. Got a little squish. I think I could bring in a little bit of light. Um, right up in there. Yeah, let's work on this relationship here. The shape.
We'll push that light even more still. Not a lot, but only on the inside. Okay, and then as it drops down, it gets darker and darker and darker. So I'm just going down my value scale here. Now, let's see. What else could we do? We could go darker under here with more red. Maybe too dark, but. Testing and stepping back. All right, now let's work with that eyelid, how it comes down. So I got a little bit like gray in there by accident, so it might be hard to bring it back. Too wide. It's too wide, but I could probably bring this eyebrow down. Yeah, let's merge these guys. It's too dark. This is too wide, so I want my red brush back. And I want to try and push that red line down. And then take another brush that had maybe that flesh color above it, kind of that dark version of itself. Trim it down from the top. Yeah, and now come in with the light so it doesn't get too wide. But yeah, you know, I think part of it too is like, when we're painting, we're only gonna get so many things right. We're working with hue value chroma. There's three things right away. We're working with shapes, which are so hard to hold on to when you're painting. So there's gonna come a point here when I'm like, you know what, like it looks decent. I can keep it that way and then let it dry and come back in a couple days, oil it in and keep working on it and soften and, and it, you know, and work from there. So. It's really like the capacity that you feel that you have personally to continue to work without messing it up. Because we can mess things up. That always sucks when you work on something for like days and then you mess it up in a matter of like three minutes. <laughs> I hate when that happens, but it does. It's fine. Oops. I need to go darker because things are not.
merging. There we go. Mm -hmm. This. Okay. And then over down in here, I think uh, I can get lighter and stuff. So I'm going to take a bigger brush to map that out because teeny tiny brushes are kind of a pain. So let's try something. This is a filbert. It's a size four. And let's see what we got here. Oops, no way, way too light. Too gray. Well, maybe that's gonna be okay, like right here. Kind of looking here and I'm trying to see brush strokes, kind of see things as brush strokes. Too dark. Too blue, too dark here. Oh, I didn't really mix the colors for over here because it gets lighter and pinker. So I kind of have to stop. Unless I'm going to keep, and I'm not going to um, keep mixing. Maybe I could use some of this orange that I mixed. Let's see. Take a new brush so it doesn't contaminate. Kind of blending a little bit. That's fine. So I'm going to stop there. So I know it's not perfect, but it's good enough. And I would just keep working for the next, you know, I give myself a good three hour chunk to keep working on this and um, take a break, flip it upside down, take a look at it. Yeah, now that I'm looking at it in the computer, I can see that uh, the red comes up a little bit too high near the brow. The brow can be thinned out from the top. The light in the brow could get a little bit lighter. There's a change of direction in the eyelid that I missed. And I gotta be careful the eyes aren't getting too close together. That's another thing.